Hi guys, I am back for my fourth trying to conceive vlog. Uh, just going to do a small update on, you know, where I am in my cycle and what I plan on doing differently this cycle. So I am officially on to cycle two, um, cycle day five at the moment, and I am already off of my period, which I am excited about. It was very light this time around, but that's okay. I'm over it, and <laughs> now we can get back to trying. So some things I'm going to do differently this cycle is I am going to be vaginally temping, which I started this morning. And my reason for that is just orally, they were all over the place, and I just know that temping vaginally can be a lot, um, you can rely on it a lot better. Um, and the other thing I'm doing is using my first response ovulation kit. And I think I showed this in my... TTC tag. Um, it's really nice because it's a 20 day kit and you start testing on cycle day five with first morning urine and it tracks the amount of LH that you have specifically so it can see your LH surge better. Um, so this is the little tester thing. It comes in and you just you know stick them in here, dip it in the pee and then a little no and a negative sign will pop up or a yes and a positive. And this is the bag has all the 20 tests and I haven't opened it yet because I don't plan on starting until tomorrow and it says, you know, don't open until you plan on using it. And the reason that I'm not starting on cycle day five, like it says, is because I ovulated cycle day 26 last cycle um, and I just don't want to miss my LH surge. Um, so yeah, so I'm really excited for that, especially because I paid $10 for it, which is a really good deal because they're normally like 20 to like 30 um, and I also seen at my Kroger, I don't know if any of you ladies have CareSource or know someone that has CareSource, but apparently at Kroger you can, they can help you get pregnancy tests for free and things. Um, I haven't looked into it quite yet, but I thought, you know, if I could get a couple free ones, why not? Um, also, sorry, more things that I discovered. I don't know where you all buy, like, your first response tests, but when I was at Kroger, I seen that, like, a two-pack was, I want to say, 15 or $18 for two of them. I was like, that's, that's a little expensive. But two days ago, I was at my Family Dollar. I don't know if you guys have Family Dollars where you are, but they were, it was $10 for a two-pack, and it was the exact same pack. So definitely going to be buying my first responses there, as well as, at, oops, dropped the tester, I'm trying to break it already, haven't even used it. Um, also at Kroger, they had the Clear Blue Digital, and it was the one that only said pregnant or not pregnant, and it was eighteen fifty something for one. Um, at my local Family Dollar, you can get one that says pregnant or not pregnant, pregnant, and weeks estimator for nine dollars. Like I don't know if that's a good deal to anybody else, but I'm pretty excited about that, and that is again probably where I will buy them. You know, if I get anything near a positive this upcoming cycle. Um, so next week I will be gone for a couple of days. It is my first wedding anniversary and my sixth anniversary of being together. And we're going to be out of town at a cabin where there's no cell phone reception, no Wi-Fi, no nothing. So I will be gone from Instagram and YouTube for a little while. Um, but yeah, I think that is everything I have to update on for now. So if you have any questions or tips or anything for me, just let me know down below. All right. Bye guys.